More than 9,000 cheerleaders and dancers and 20,000 spectators are in Daytona Beach this week. It is the annual College Cheer and Dance National Championship, the 27th year it's been held in Daytona. But this year, the organization's contract with the Ocean Center venue is up, and area leaders fear the event may leave. New 6's Molly Reed shows the impact it makes and the work to keep it here. Not only is this the Ocean Center's largest event each year by far, but the coaches and competitors here tell me that they make Daytona Beach their goal each year. They want to keep coming back, but the problem is finding hotel rooms for everyone with how big the competition has grown and the spectator crowd. Everyone's dream when they come up through high school to get to the band shell. The stage is set at the Ocean Center and its band shell across the street. The four-day national championship kicks off Thursday. In our music, it says, take me to the water, and we're pointing over right there to the water, so I just can't imagine it not being here. The event is bringing 9,000 cheerleaders and dancers and over 20,000 fans. Look at our gift shops, our restaurants, our attractions. They're all seeing the benefit of this. While the nerves are high for the chance to win the top spot, many also wonder if this will be the last year of competing in Daytona Beach. And words out that we're looking, and they they understand why. Bill Boggs is the vice president of the National Cheer and Dance Associations. We had 350, over 350 teams last year. Uh, we have about 430 teams this year. Two of the larger beachside hotels are closed for renovations from last year's hurricanes, but even if they were open, Boggs says the event's starting to outgrow the rooms available. I had to send an email to 155 teams telling them that we did not have hotel rooms for them. Boggs says those teams found rooms closer to Orlando in our commuting. He says the hotels here have also increased their prices to the point many teams can't afford it anymore. He says he's working with Volusia County officials and local hotel management to reach agreements before committing to another contract here. We're not asking people to, you know, give rooms away to us, uh, you know, just be reasonable and, and be conscious of the fact that our event's growing. Now I'm told they have to make a decision by July 15th this year, but they hope to come to an agreement much sooner. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.